Let's return to today's shocking unemployment stats. It is savings month, you'll recall, but with unemployment so high, many more retrenchments on the card. Saving is actually a pipe dream for many South Africans. And economic watchers say things are going to get worse before they get better. As it stands, a whopping 92% of working South Africans won't even be able to retire. To discuss, we're joined by Mdaduzi Latuli from Latuli Capital. Thank you very much. Um, Mdaduzi, were you shocked by today's unemployment figures? I think, look, <clears throat> we've sort of become used to living with structural unemployment. Uh, and, and today was the numbers were a bit shocking because it was a bit of a blowout. Um, but what the numbers do tell us is that we have a serious problem. It's an ingrained problem. It's a structural problem. And one doesn't want to come here and, and be dramatic and, 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 and try to scare people. But what the numbers tell us is that something needs to happen. And something needs to happen soon. Because every year we get these numbers, we are shocked for a day or two, we move on, the next year comes, and things are getting worse. And I genuinely believe that the current cabinet, the current government, uh, at least I want to believe and I want to hope that they are doing something about it. But you simply look at those numbers and the one thing you have to realize is that even if they are doing something about it and they genuinely um, are all hands on deck, this is something that's going to take years to rectify. Mm. So, so should we be saying give government more time? Because it's an economy that's, that's got itself into a, a tailspin yeah. over years. Yeah. Is it still going to take years to fix? I mean, how do we live with that? Yeah, and that's the thing. And nobody wants to hear that. Um, I wish I could sit here and give a, a three-point plan. And, and this, is how we turn, this is how we turn the economy around. And next year, this time, uh, structural unemployment won't be an issue. But this is, this is going to take years. And I think for the first term, assuming that President Cyril will have a second term, his first term has to be focused with uh, getting in front of business, holding hands, and really giving us confidence as the citizens, as business, because it's business that's going to change this. Uh, we can't, government doesn't have the money anymore to fix this. If we went back over a decade ago, people forget that we actually were at some point running with a, with a, with a budget surplus. Mm. There was a time in very recent history where the government actually had capital and they could have allocated that capital to ensure that the, 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 the economy, our infrastructure is structured in a certain way, structured for growth. We spent that money on wages and we 10, 11, 12 years down the line and it's saying, what happened? If you just look at the amount of debt, you were speaking now about the, about the ESCOM numbers, but if you look at the total combined debt levels of all state-owned entities, that is the money to give us free education. That is the money we're talking now about NHR to actually implement that. That is the money that to we're the, using. The safety nets for South Africans Exa who are exactly, unemployed. Exactly. So, so there is a change in tone. Uh, the president himself talking about job losses to come. Mm. The finance minister is suggesting, I think, that there won't be protected employment in SOEs mm. as we've seen. Mm. So, so could we see a tsunami of retrenchment still to come? Look, I'd be purely speculating, but the one thing that the numbers do tell us is that it's certainly going to get worse before it gets better. We're definitely not in an environment where a year from now we're going to be seeing record job creation. That's definitely not the environment that we're in. So I think we need to brace ourselves for more retrenchment. Uh, government is trying to cut the fat and how, how much they can really cut, I don't no, but it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult situation. Mm. And I think South Africans need to accept that and realize that. And now we need to have the conversation. I know people don't want words, but uh, that's all I have at the moment is words. It's, it's, it's we all we plan. all have. And, and the stats are so bad. So, so we were talking about 92% of South Africans are not in a position to retire, yeah, never yeah. mind to lose their jobs right now. Yeah, yeah. So just explain how, how bad that is. I mean, we're talking about savings month, but, yeah. but nobody's doing it and, and preparing yeah. for a potential retrenchment. You know, we at the coalface uh, um, of this, doing what I do as an investment manager, and we're constantly meeting clients, and they're saying, do I hear you? I hear you. The, the, you've done this financial plan. It's sound. I should be saving. But from where? Because uh, the one criticism of our field, financial planning, is that uh, um, 
It only caters to people with money, but who are mismanaging it. Yeah. But the situation currently right now is not that people are being irresponsible or are mismanaging their money. They simply don't have it. You're asking people to make a choice, you know, between their, their children going to school or saving up and having an emergency fund, God forbid, if you are retrenched, because that's the only way uh, you can protect yourself, is to have some sort of, some sort of safety net, have some sort of emergency fund, have some sort of retrenchment cover but that costs money. And you're asking people to, to take it from necessities. You know, people are not spending their money traveling or partying. And I, I see this, I speak with people every day and we're asking yeah. them to say save. Uh, and now you're talking about retirement. You know, people are saying, but I have problems now. I have debt now. And we've How sort of- How can you even think about the future, you know, yeah. We've sort of become a, a society that's, 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 that's firefighting. And people are focused on what is the problem next month? as opposed to, listen, 10, 20, 30 years from now, you're going to retire. And it's, well, I'll deal with that when it comes. And that is, it's a very sad reality. All right, so things are gonna get worse uh, before they even begin to get better. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, unfortunately, though, that is the reality. I'm Duduzi Latuli from uh, Latuli Capital. And